Hey they, it's Queen Ray, and welcome back to her channel. See, I done brought y'all back into the bedroom, back into the bedroom. Don't even ask me why. I just felt like it was more personable and more comfortable for me a little bit. So that's where I'm at with mine today. But listen, today is Mother's Day, and I felt like this was something that I wanted to share with the world again. Now, everybody knows the goofy side of me, the cooking side of me, the doing hair side of me, the silly side of me and all of that stuff. But uh, the real me is a poet by heart. And I've been a, I've been writing poetry since I was nine years old. I've been doing shows. I've been doing spoken word. I've done my church events. I've done outside events, done stuff in my school. Like that's just how deep it is for me. That's, a, that's a really a part of me. Like you can't say Raven without poetry. You can't say poetry without Raven. We just go hand in hand. Okay. So in honor of Mother's Day, I have on my shirt because I'm a mother. What? A mother hustler. A mother hustler. Okay. I'm a mother. What? A mother hustler. Go get yours. That's what I am. Um, so listen, um, because this poem means so much to me, I've, I've read this poem. Let me see. I think it was, I think this was 2006. 16, if I'm not mistaken, I read this poem in my church on Mother's Day as a tribute to mothers and my mother as well and myself. I included all aspects. Okay, now being that it's Mother's Day, Mother's Day is a very sentimental time for all of us because we all would not be here without a mother. Now, granted, a lot of people don't always have the best relationships with their mother. There may be dysfunctional relationships with your mother. There may be um, the mother that does the best she could ever do and you just have the best mother in the world there's also uh, mothers that have passed and so no you no longer have that relationship with your mom um and they're not able to see you grow and prosper and things like that nature also there's moms that you know just maybe they're not moms maybe they birthed you but they didn't raise you or you know you were adopted or whatever the case may be in your life um or your mom is sick, or whatever the case is, I just feel like today is the day for us to share so much love um, with all of our moms, whether it be your mom, your grandmother, your auntie, your sister, whoever raised you, they are motherly figures. A mother doesn't have to birth you, okay? So that's first things first. A mother does not have to birth you. Um, whoever raised you, whoever loved on you, whoever showed you affection, whoever taught you, whoever um, made you the person you are today, this is who we pay homage to. We recognize all mothers for all their strengths. This day is mine in full, okay? Because I'm a mother 25-8. That's not 24-7. It's 25-8. Get it straight, okay? That's me. Um, and motherhood is not easy. Anybody that's a new mom, first-time mom, a mom that maybe has lost a child, a mom that is pregnant right now, currently, whatever the case is, this day is for us in t entirely, completely nothing to take away from the fathers but the mothers have excelled above and beyond and right now during this quarantine covid virus we have become not only the mothers but the nurturers the teachers the educators and everything else that's going on with our children in in our homes right now so homage hats off to y'all i would take my hat off but i ain't gonna do all that so um hats off to y'all and me and this day is for us. And so I just wanted to share my gift of love of poetry to my other mothers. I want to inspire other mothers. I want to inspire all of us all around the world to know that we are appreciated. We um, dedicate this day to each other, to ourselves, to the ones that we love around us. And um, we the shit, period. Like, that's it. So let's get into this poem, okay? So I'm going to put my face on. I have not recited this poem. I have not rehearsed this poem. But I did write this poem word for word, okay? So this is how I express my love and my meaning of mothers. And not only was I talking about my mother, but I was talking about myself, the mothers around me, and the ones that I know that have that mother characteristic, grandmothers, aunts, you know, whatever you may be. Okay, so we're going to get into this poem. It's a little long, so just bear with me. I dedicate this to us, to us. My mother, my queen, who is she to you? What does she mean? When I think of mother, I think of my queen, a mother of many talents. She has the ability to conceal her emotions, no makeup required. A woman who sheds bitter tears, suppresses her stress of hidden fears. 
She carries an aura of invincibility, a disposition of graceful determination. She walks before us as babies to lead by example. She walks as an adolescent. She's behind us in case we should ever fall on our path. As adults, she walks beside us to enjoy the journey through life with laughs. Who was she to you and what does she mean? When I think of mother, I think of my queen. Her knowledge is incessant. Her words hold value, strength, and wisdom. She can knock you down and pick you up with words all in the same sentence. Handcrafted by God himself, she holds unmeasurable love, endurance, and empowerment. He made sure she was capable of the many challenges, trials, and hurdles that life would send. Her faith is attendant in the home of God through prayers answered by him is where her strength derives. She knows how to place her bets when it comes to her battles. You win some, you lose some. It ain't all bad and it ain't all good. But that's just the chance you take in the lottery life of motherhood. Who is she to you and what does she mean? When I think of mother, I think of my queen. She has had countless fall downs so that we can stand up. Through her life experiences, she grew thick skin and it made her tough. Not only for herself, but so that she could teach us. Before we knew ourselves, for her child, she had a vision. Raise us in her image with unconditional love and guidance was her mission. She held our hand and ordered our steps through life before she set us free. Demonstrating morals and values as a foundation to succeed. Marriage, of course, kids, but first, baby, get your degree. Who is she to you and what does she mean? When I think of mother, I think of my queen. She has opened the doors and her motherhood shadows me from behind. I'm grateful she sacrificed a lot in her life to allow me a chance with mine. Now my time has arrived. They are newer versions and younger me's. I want them to excel and achieve, touching all the stars that I didn't quite reach. Mommy's little babies, they look up to me. So just like my mama did, I'm going to practice what I preach. One day, someone may ask them, who is she to you? And what does she mean? Raising them upstanding is imperative for their response to be. When they think of their mother they'll think of their queen, period. Sorry, for all the long nights, screams, cries, and lost energy, thank you for your patience. For 270 days of organs lifted and bones shifted to create life for another generation, from one mother to another, from one mother to another, hats off with much respect and appreciation. We raise our families through blood, sweat, and slanted precision. They say this is a man's world, but it wouldn't be nothing without a woman's supervision. Who is she to you? What does she mean? When I think of mother, I think of my queens. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. Stay blessed, stay safe. Love yours, love on these kids today, and uh, don't never, never, never underestimate our strength because we are winners all day, every day. Our jobs don't stop. Tomorrow's going to be Mother's Day again, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Mother what? Mother hustler. To all the women in the world today, whether you are a mother or not, we all have mother qualities in us, okay? So this day is for all of us, but for the ones that really go hard, the way I go hard and the way I know a bunch of us go hard. Let's 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 soak it up, baby. Soak it up. We got 24 hours. Let's soak it up. Who is she to you? What does she mean? When I think of mother, I think of my queen. Happy Mother's Day, Donna Brown. That's my mama. Happy Mother's Day, Ray Ray. That's me. I'm out, y'all. Don't ever forget that no two people are alike and as plain as you can see. God created you to be you. He created me to be me. So make sure that every time you do your thing, you do it.
your way. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. 2020. Take care. And I'm out. It is.